Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europa Naples, and I'm here today on this peaceful and lovely Florida morning. Uh, we've got about 15 days of rain coming, so it's going to be a little bit like Noah's Ark around here soon. So uh, in the meantime, we're going to get as many cars up and listed as we can, uh, try and get ahead of the curve. Uh, this is a 2012 Mercedes-Benz E350 Cabriolet. Uh, you know, it's a car that's one of the staples of our inventory. Uh, frankly, not just the Cabriolet, but, you know, any version of the E-Class, because it is Mercedes' real bread-and-butter car. Uh, they sell a bunch of them, they put a lot of money into R&D, uh, and they just make them fantastic, both looking, driving, and, uh, well, I guess it's not both anymore if I go beyond that, but uh, the engineering is just fantastic in an E-Class. God, the birds are going batty absolutely batty and there are so many ducks this morning they're all vanished now but there are a million ducks running around just looking pissed off anyway i initially resisted this car because i'm not a big fan of aftermarket wheels which this does have uh, although i sat there for like 10 minutes well that's an exaggeration probably four minutes three four minutes just taking it in like i would a painting at a museum trying to hate it really trying to hate it and i couldn't uh you know whoever selected the wheels for this car really did a nice job they bought fairly expensive wheels they fit them perfectly and uh, they actually look pretty damn good on the car now it was traded in at a rolls royce dealership in palm beach so i guess you could say it was probably a very tasteful person and uh, as a result it really just works especially with the uh the white paint and the red leather. But, uh, you know, it's all in the eye of the beholder, so you may despise it, it may look crappy to you. Uh, and frankly, I wouldn't blame you at all. It's, you know, how I want to feel. But uh, I do like it, I think it looks pretty good. And going down the road, it's uh, it, it creates a little bit of an impact. They also did a really nice job of detailing the uh, brakes behind it, something uh, people uh, generally forget when they put wheels. They're in such a rush to get their wheels on. You know, there's places out there that rent wheels. That has got to be the most absurd financial decision any human being could ever make. Oh, I'm going to go in and buy a set of Chinese wheels, pay twice what they're worth or more, and then pay 30% interest on them, uh, you know, for the remainder of my life. So, I don't know. If you're one of those people, man, you better think twice. That's kind of insane. Uh, anyway, let me get back to this. So, uh, beautiful Arctic white outside, gorgeous sort of a crimson red leather inside. Again, those 20-inch wheels that just really make a, a striking appearance on the car. Uh, only 36,000 miles and uh, very, very clean all around. Uh, the design of this car is lovely. This is the W212 Series E-Class. has a very nice mixture of angles and curves and swoops and body lines. You see that one running down the door handle. Uh, very nice uh, curvature around the rear uh, wheel well. Uh, nice low chrome strip there, uh, you know, adding uh, dimension to the car. And just really looks great. Also the little top cover with the, I don't know if these are speakers. I haven't quite figured that. I don't think so. I think they're just little vents, but they uh, they do look nice back there. Uh, this does have a sport package, so you're getting that rear spoiler. You get some twice pipes at the bottom with a diffuser. Nice chrome trim in the bumpers. Uh, and just lovely, original, perfect paint all around this thing. Uh, Anyway, now I'm selling the car instead of reviewing it. But the thing is, I just have done a bunch of these, and I like them. I like them a lot. Uh, those angular headlamps, the big star in the grill, uh, the mesh down low with the LEDs, uh, very pointed front air dam. Uh, it's just a great-looking car. I like the pickle forks inside the rearview mirrors, the way it's body color on top and black at the bottom. Yeah, what can I say? I love it. All right, let's get inside the trunk. Okay, so here you can see you have pretty good access, even with the top down. You even have a big, deep uh, area underneath that. I went grocery shopping last night. Uh, it's something that uh, my girl forces me to do. I she just, for some reason, she has this aversion to grocery stores. She hasn't been in one in like 15 years. So uh, I think it also helps that <clears throat> I have to use my credit card in the grocery store and not hers. But uh, anyway... Uh, and she started drinking this kombucha crap. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of hipster uh, brew that's made out of, like, vinegar and twigs. And it's disgusting. And it costs a fortune. So it's, like, doubly offensive. And uh, I have to buy, like, six or seven cans of that crap every week. And just looking at it in the fridge makes me hurl. 
Anyway, okay, so anyway, you can see this nice big trunk. When the uh, top is up, you can push that partition forward and uh, get a lot more room. You know, historically, you know, if the top doesn't work in one of these cars, somebody pushed that partition up and you just gotta get in the back, open it up and pull it back down again. You see that a lot. Oh, my top doesn't work. Underneath this is a spare tire, which is pretty much what you'd expect. Okay, so 2012 was a good year for the E-Class because it did get the new direct injection V6 motor. Let's see if we can get the hood open today. We can. So there is a 302 horsepower, 3.5 liter V6. Uh, it's a fantastic engine. I mean, if you recall, it wasn't that long ago, uh, ending in uh, 07, actually, 07, 06, 07, whatever, 06, I'll say. Uh, the 500 motor put out about the exact same horsepower. So uh, very quick, uh, very short time ago, this thing uh, would have been a V8 with the same power. Now it's a V6 with better fuel mileage, better response, and, uh, you know, no lacking in uh, power. So pretty cool stuff. And this is, <clears throat> again, a Florida car, very well kept, very mint. Listen to those birds. God, they're going nuts. I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, great motor, you know, and new for this year. Still a current motor from Mercedes coming out of the new ones. Uh, you know, it has that direct injection thing with a little bit of ticking. It takes you a while to get used to it, but it's fine uh, because what it does is really bump up your fuel economy while sacrificing nothing in terms of power and torque. All right, let's have a look inside. So beautiful contrast in this thing with the white outside and the black and red inside. Uh, you know, if any of these cars become collectible, which frankly every Mercedes convertible does in time, uh, you know, ones that look like this are going to be at the top of the heap because it's just very special. Uh, you can see beautiful red leather back there. Uh, actually a fair amount of leg room and shoulder room. Your Canadian, oh, look at that moth. Canadians aren't going to be miserable. Let's see if our detailer got in here or not. Eh, maybe uh, there is a pass through into the trunk there as well. So if you've got to, you know, carry your garden hoe, you're going to be fine. Uh, this harkens back to earlier Mercedes models, and I like it. The little wooden roller. Uh, I had a 124 car from the, eh, mine was the 80s. I had a bunch of them. Who knows which one? But I had these little wooden rollers that used to come apart and go into pieces, you know, with these things that looked like uh, manga sticks everywhere. Tang, whatever that game is where you pull the little sticks out. But um, this one's nice and tightened together. Hopefully they're making them better now and built to last. You can also see it has a Harman Kardon sub back there. All right, so should I get in or do the top first? I'll give you a quick tour of the, uh, the front seat anyway. Uh, looking at the uh, door panel, you can see again, the beautiful red leather insert, lovely dark wood. I think that's bird's eye maple with nickel trim. You got nickel trim down here. Uh, everything nice, tight, and together. Uh, if you look inside a Tesla, you'll notice all this same stuff. It looks like Mercedes is supplying them with uh, various bits and pieces. Uh, but anyway, nice uh, proper door panel, airbags and all that. Good fit and finish. Up front, you've got these orthopedic seats. Uh, you know, absolutely mint and perfect. Lovely color combination. Uh, with uh, a bunch of, uh, what do you have over there, controls for lumbar and back and everything to make you comfy. All right, so let me get the top up, then we'll hop inside. Now, I'm going to do this remotely. Actually, I tell you, God, I'm just losing my plot. Let me zero in on those for a minute. Uh, if anyone wants to pause them and look it up, looks like they are Asante Black Label Series or some such. So nice wheels on that thing with some kind of Lionheart. Never heard of that, but I think it's big in the hipster world, uh, tires on it. Anyway, I'm gonna press and hold the lock button. And what that's gonna do is remotely run the top. So the cover comes up from the back. Up comes this incredibly well-engineered folding soft top. Stop for a second, it's gonna probably beep at me. Look at the insulation in this thing, the thickness, the fit and finish, the technology. Uh, this thing is designed to really keep the noise down and not be at all like a cloth soft top convertible. Uh, when this thing's in place, someday I'm gonna find a way to turn off that beeping. Uh, when that thing's in place, you really don't know that you're in a, uh, in a rag top. It just really keeps the wind and noise down. And of course, no weather incurs either. So there it goes. Everything goes neatly into place. Up comes the windows, and now we have a <coughs> convertible with the top up. 
Mugly stuff. There's that moth on the mirror. He's going for a ride in a minute. <clears throat> Glass back window. Everything lovely. Perfect. All right, let's hop in. Oh, yeah, okay. It's going to beep at me when I do this. Oh, God, that's something that needs to get turned off in the settings immediately. All right, let's fire this thing up. All right, so that direct injection six springs to life. The little seatbelt presenter comes out to uh, hand you your seatbelt. Very nice feature, and it also freaks out any passengers who aren't expecting it. Just a little added bonus. Uh, here you can see you've got your 14-way power seats. You've got your automatic headlights. Uh, you got this beautiful multifunction steering wheel with the dark wood trim. Lovely. Uh, let me turn those on for a minute so you get some illumination. Uh, there you see a very logically and nicely laid out instrument cluster with a little brushed aluminum surround. You've got, um, you know, your fuel, a clock, uh, tack, water temp, and then this big driver information center in the middle where you can go through different bits and pieces. It's not quite as cool as the, uh, you know, little uh, digital gauge in the Porsches, but it does the job and better than it used to be. All right, so we'll leave it there. Uh, over here, we've got Mercedes-Benz uh, in-dash command unit. Uh, here's the nav screen up. we got some music going. What do we got? Nah, could do without a little Bon Jovi this morning. All right, so anyway, there's your navigation. We've got it set up to the bird's eye view. It's in day mode instead of night, which is fine. Uh, you go to radio. Let's see what we got. Look at all this crap. So you got AM, FM, satellite disc, memory card, music register. You got tired as hell trying to figure it all out. Also Bluetooth audio, I like that for this year. Uh, of course, you also have your Bluetooth phone. Uh, here you can watch your body videos when you're sitting in the traffic light, or I guess when the car's not moving. And then you can have a second digital analog clock under the system setting. So uh, all very nice stuff. We'll go back to Navi. Uh, this is direct access for that command unit. Uh, pretty cool in terms of, uh, you know, one touch instead of going through the joystick. Uh, this little guy here, if you press that, if your seat belt's off, uh, what that's going to do is represent the seat belts to you. Sometimes you get in the car, you're fooling around with something, your phone, you're texting, you're arguing with your significant other over her inability to go food shopping, and uh, the thing just retracts automatically. So instead of having to reach all the way back now and grab it, uh, you just tap that guy, and out comes the presenter again. So nice stuff. Uh, here's your heated seats. Lovely. Uh, you've got your um, uh, air scarf. Very nice stuff. This raises and lowers the rear headrests. Here's some climate control going. Hot side hot, cool side cool. Also gives you a display up there, which pops up for a minute in case you're too lazy to look down. Uh, very nice proper shifter here. You've got economy and sport settings, lovely wood and leather. Uh, just very, very nice. Also uh, an ashtray. Actually, that's not an ashtray. It's just an outlet and a place for change. So nobody smokes anymore, not even the Germans. Uh, you got some cup holders here. Uh, here's your um, top controls for doing it. Uh, properly. Now, what I should have done when the top was down was show you that whole big uh, uh, air scarf movement. When I press that guy, a little screen pops up from the top of the windshield here to keep uh, wind noise down, and also your uh, little windscreen in the back pops up. Uh, I'm not going to go through the trouble putting the top down again to show you, but it's in the photos if you go to the website and you see how that looks. Uh, in here, what do we got? I don't even know how to open up a little button. Uh, you got some iPod and auxiliary input stuff. You got a traditional glove box, it's all very nice. And just beautiful fit and finish everywhere. I think this also has voice command. Let's see that, I'm gonna do that with the radio station. Sometimes it doesn't understand me or it gets pissed off. 102.9. All right, good, it did. Let's see what we got there. Absolutely nothing. Uh, okay, what do we got? Everything good here? Good, beautiful, let's go. So again, the E-Class is such a staple of the Mercedes-Benz lineup because it's such a great car. It's smooth, it's nice sized, uh, it's very luxurious, practical, and comfortable, and uh, just does it all correctly. And you just really get that added bonus in convertible form that's super nice. Yeah, I mean, it just handles the bumps lovely. Even these wheels and tires, which, you know, again, usually aftermarket wheels and tires ride like absolute crap. Uh, these don't, they're nice and smooth. You can 
can see that peppy direct injected six. Uh, you know, there it is. It's pretty cool stuff. I'll show you one thing from the stoplight. I'm not gonna hot rod it, even though we got flippity paddles and, you know, we got 300 horsepower, so it ain't bad. But uh, this is cooler. We're gonna run the top down while we're driving. I think you can do that up to about 25 miles an hour. So, let's see. All right, yeah, operation. Where's our speed? We're at 20. Let's pick it up. All right, so we're gonna stick to 20 and see what happens. Oh, look at that, there it goes. So that's pretty cool. As you're rolling through your neighborhood, you can put the top down. It goes really fast as well. And there it is. Uh, we're rolling through the parking lot. If it looks like rain, which we got coming, uh, now I can actually do this thing. So there's the, uh, probably gonna lose the audio, but real quick, there you go. So up comes that little windscreen. Uh, there it is, 2012 Mercedes-Benz E350 Cabriolet, fantastic vehicle. Um, you know, it just does everything it's supposed to do perfectly and does it well and does it uh, in a way that won't trouble you. You just get to enjoy the open air, uh, really nice luxury and good reliability. So uh, if you have an interest in this car, give us a call, 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com. We're always happy to talk to you about this or any other car we have, and uh, we'll see you with the next one. Take care.